Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Seth and we are here to talk today about the all-important Final Four, everything that you need to know for it. Who's gonna win? What's gonna happen? Let me tell you, I know what's gonna happen. No, I don't. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just here to let you be advised. So first up on Saturday at 3.14 p.m., we have listed on here Houston versus Baylor. Obviously, Houston has had one of the easier paths to the Final Four, as we've seen. They haven't played the best competition all the way to here. They haven't beaten a single, single digit seed. They've beaten all double digit seeds to get here to the Final Four. And they're coming up against what is now known as the second best team in the country, the Baylor Bears, the number one seed. Coming into this game, I'm getting my odds from DraftKings, uh, five point favorites uh, in this one on neutral ground. Uh, minus 220 on the money line and the over under is set at 134 and a half so if we're looking at this it's really interesting odds uh, I personally think that this Baylor team is just the 1b uh, to Gonzaga's 1a we'll we'll get to Gonzaga in a second but obviously Baylor has been just absolutely phenomenal they have not had really any challenge so far uh, in this tournament and they definitely deserve the number one seed and have proved up to this point that nothing is stopping them. Nothing is stopping them from getting to this final four and I don't think any, I don't think Houston is stopping them. I'm just going to get right to the chase. They're not stopping the Baylor Bears from getting to the national championship game. I would take Baylor minus five. Uh, if you are looking more on the total side, this game's probably going over. Uh, Houston is very well known for having a very, very good defense, but I think Baylor is way more talented than not to break that, and it's gonna be pretty easy. For the Baylor Bears, I, I don't think this is gonna be much of a challenge. I'm taking Baylor minus five, and I am taking over the 134 and a half. So then finally, we get to our conclusion on Saturday night. That is UCLA versus Gonzaga. UCLA on a Cinderella run of Cinderella runs under Mick Cronin, uh, just an absolutely <laughs> Phenomenal display of everything that's happening. Gonzaga is favored by 14 though, and deservedly so. Uh, I already talked about Gonzaga. They are the 1A in college basketball this year. They have been better than everyone else that has come onto the court. Uh, there hasn't really been uh, many close games for the Gonzaga Bulldogs this year, uh, and I don't think this is gonna be a close game either. UCLA has been notorious for keeping games close in this tournament all year. Obviously, we all witnessed what happened to poor Alabama and Nate Oates uh, getting to, to overtime and yeah, just giving up a 10 nothing run to uh, UCLA. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen in this game. Gonzaga, Jalen Suggs, and, and Drew Timmy, the, the one-two punch of the century, potentially, in college basketball. <laughs> I 14 is a large number. I would like it a lot more if it was a little bit lower, like maybe like 12 and a half or 13 even, just to maybe get a push, but 14 is a large number. Don't be scared of it. I love Gonzaga in this game. Everybody and their mother was picking Gonzaga and Baylor to get to the national championship game. And of course, I think now we all kind of got to realize it. it's just there for the taking. Gonzaga is going to win. I think they do cover the 14. I think they probably win this game by 20 because what game haven't they won by 20 in this tournament so far? Uh, outside of Oklahoma, I believe. Uh, or no, it was USC. USC, they won uh, by 16, 16 I want to say. Uh, and the total for this one is 145 and a half which is a little, a little odd because it's over 70 per team. UCLA is known for putting up a lot of shots, but in this game, UCLA isn't isn't gonna match Gonzaga. The total is gonna be close, but if I had to give a pick on it, I would also take over in this one. It's kind of the same thing for Baylor. I pick the favorite and I pick the over. I think there's gonna be a lot of points scored. And that's gonna make it our uh, national championship game, the Baylor Bears versus Gonzaga, which DraftKings actually already has um, early predictions and early spreads for all the possible outcomes of the national game, uh, the national championship game. And right now it is looking like a six point spread differential in favor of Gonzaga. We're gonna be watching that. Of course, anything can happen. It's college basketball. It's been a wild, wild tournament up until the, till this point. And obviously that matchup is going to be on Monday. So hopefully we'll get another update to you guys then. But for right now, that's my picks for the weekend. Be advised.